SDM 230 series are all single phase, two module, dim rail mounted, 100 amp direct connected energy meters. So we've got variations for different types of communication and we've got variations of a basic uh, kilowatt hour check meter and then getting into the more multifunction type meters. All these meters are mid approved, which means they're all suitable for billing, whether that's you billing a tenant or whether that's you claiming back money from your energy provider for exporting energy back to the grid. If you did want to know more detail about mid approval, we went into a little bit more detail in the SDM 120 series video, which we'll link either in the top or in the description for you to watch. So the SDM 230 M bus. So for this meter, it's got all the same parameters and same features as the SDM 230 mod mid, but the M bus is just a different type of protocol. M bus is often used when you're using utility meters um, for remote monitoring. So when it's just electric meters, most of the time it's Modbus. But if you've got utility meters that are going back to a gateway or a data logger, it's likely to be Mbus rather than Modbus. And some gateways or data loggers only have Mbus input rather than both. So that's why we have an Mbus version for this meter. But basically the, the other features are all the same as the SDM230 mod mid. Displays total kilowatt hours, partial resettable energy in kilowatt hours. Um, input kilowatt hours and export kilowatt hours. You've got watts on there, you've got volts and amps as well. And in addition to that, you'll get total reactive energy um, in KVA RH. You'll get import and export reactive energy in KVA RH. You'll get max demand, max power demand in watts. You'll get reactive power in VAR, um, apparent power in VA, power factor, frequency. And then you get the pulse reading, so pulse constant, which is how many times the pulse will flash per kilowatt or per setting that you've got it set to. Um, because with this meter, you can change whether it's pulsing for kilowatt or for KVA RH. The wiring, as we mentioned in the last series video, always check the scribe on the side of the meter that's actually been lasered on for the correct wiring, because there are different versions in the market and different versions of user manuals and wiring diagrams. So if you can, always refer to the side of the meter. If not, get in touch with us on 01268 773 422 or inquiry at smartprocess.co.uk and we'll provide you the relevant documentation for the meter that you have. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments and we'll be sure to reply to that. Um, thank you very much for watching and sticking through to the end. Um, please subscribe for more videos on the channel like this one. Thank you.